Welcome everybody to today's YouTube video. We are here on location, of course, outside. So if you hear the birds, if you hear animals, planes flying by, I apologize. Um, but as you know, the Euros 2024 have started. Uh, I don't have a team particular, obviously, because I'm more for Copa America, I'm rooting for Mexico and USA, of course. Uh, but I love to watch football and I think I'm gonna root for Portugal this time because as you know, or don't know, I'm the same age as Cristiano Ronaldo. So I would love to see him go out winning this trophy. I wish he would have won the World Cup, would have been cool um, to end his career in you know, international football maybe, but he's still playing Euros and I hope he wins it again this year. Um, but as you know, uh, tournaments, big tournaments, is uh, the brands put out their new boots, uh, colorways, of course. And now I'm not an Adidas guy or Puma guy, so I am Nike. So I just wanted to show you guys today two of the pairs that I really liked um, and that I'm going to be wearing this summer um, when I'm playing, of course, in my rec league because um, I'm not serious like that. Uh, I'm not a big name person, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do like to wear new boots and I like to have the newest uh, models on and colors. So I wanted to show you guys my two favorite ones. All right, so two of my favorite boots that Nike have released for the Euros. Um, one is the Phantom GX, of course, two. Um, and it's just this bright pink. I'm not sure the official colorway, um, but it looks awesome. I don't like mid-cut boots just because there's no difference from this um, to the to the low cut or the low cut to the mid cut. Just having a higher ankle area, I guess, more material, um, and that they charge a lot more just for that little thing. So I really don't mess with like super flies or anything mid-cut unless it's like a special special colorway that they're doing. Um, but anyways. If you haven't tried the GX2, you have to try it. It's really grippy. If you like that control, you know, it, I, I think it does help, I would say. And the bottom, the sole plate is really aggressive. So you don't have to worry about, you know, conical studs. I know some people, maybe it's more of a mental thing. Cause for me, like, I don't really like the conical studs unless like, the ground is very, very hard, which it does get like that in Florida, but we are in rain season anyway, right now, hurricane season. so. I don't probably have to worry about that that much. Um, so these bladed studs are the way to go right now for me anyway. Um, and yeah, I just, I just, it's, it just works and it fits all foot types. So if you haven't tried it, maybe try to get like an older colorway so you don't have to pay the premium price right now uh, for these. And then it's kind of cool. The swoosh has a, a little bit of a texturing to it, like a, almost like a, a diamond texturing, which is kind of cool. And yeah, I just really like these. Um, and then the second pair that I like is, of course, the Mercurial Vapor. Um, and yeah, this is another boot that um, just gets it done. You know what it's going to give you. Um, it's lightweight, uh, speed, you're going to feel fast. It doesn't make you faster, but you're going to feel fast, feel light on your feet. And it, and it, honestly, it's like a placebo effect. It does give you that little bit of confidence, that little bit of, uh, oh, um, I feel flashy. I feel, I feel quick, you know, especially for players like me, um, that aren't super fast, um, and rely on their touch. This, this is great because I still have very good touch on the ball, uh, very good feeling on the ball. Uh, and, and for some reason, some models honestly are grippier than others. I don't know why. It's, I, I really don't understand that. Um, but the new, the new Vapor and the Superfly that are coming out are going to have like the grip knit technology. Um, so they are kind of going towards that um, whole upper being grippy for all their um, models now. Maybe, maybe not the tempo so much, I don't think, because I don't know how they would incorporate that to like a synthetic leather. Um, but yeah, and on Nike's website, um, they are saying that these run small to go up 
half a size if you're like a roomier fit. I just still go true to size. They do feel tight at first, um, but they break in so nice. And yeah, it's just a, a really good boot. You can't go wrong. Maybe you don't want this colorway. I know maybe it's, it's too loud for some people. Some people don't want to wear the pink. I get that. But if you can find an older colorway on, on sale, these are, are, are really good, great boots. Um, durability, I, I don't like to comment on durability because it always depends on the surface you're playing on the most, how much you play, how much you use them, how hard you are, like as a, as a player, you know, all, all those things matter. And everybody has different experience and everybody expects the boots perform and be the same for everybody. And that's just not the case. You know, I wish, you know, it could be that way. But I mean, if you think about technology, cell phones, computers, all those things, you know, um, a cell phone isn't gonna last the same for, you know, each person. So same goes for boots. Um, I wish, you know, we could say, yeah, it's gonna last you two years. It's gonna last you three years. Uh, but we just, you just really don't know. For me, boots have lasted me forever because, you know, I, I change them out all the time, which is probably a bad thing. I always tell myself, no, this season, I'm gonna wear down a boot. And I really wanna see what that's like because honestly, I have never done that. I have hardly even done that with sneakers, to be honest. Um, I would just throw them away if they got a little bit old, but I never, I think one pair that I really just destroyed were like, the whole thing was coming apart and I think it just came apart due to age and eventually that will happen too uh, so basically if you have a boot that you're trying to save don't do that because it's probably gonna get messed up anyway the glue comes undone um, so it's best just to wear your boots if you really like something it's hard to, to save it you might as well play in it you might as well wear it um, that's my mindset going forward now so but again I do play in them at least once or twice it depends I'm superstitious, so if I have a bad game, um, I probably won't uh, stick with my rotation for you know later on. But for the most part, I've had good luck wearing new boots, and I always seem to score in them when I first put them on. Um, so I'm hoping that this will work with these two. Um, and again, swoosh kind of has some a little pattern, a little design on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, it's like a faded. This is not like a white on top, if that's what you're thinking. It stays pink, it just fades into like a light, lighter pink. Um, so yeah, guys, these are the two boots that for the Euros that I like. I like the Tiempo too, but I'm like, I don't really need three of the kind of similar colorway. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I would almost say that this is like a more aggressive stud pattern than the Mercurial, actually. I don't know, I'm not sure, um, but they're okay for both for wide feet, but this is obviously a better choice for wide footers. Um, you do have to, for me, I do have to give me uh, myself a, a, a tight, you know, squeeze um, to feel locked in just so my foot doesn't move around a little bit and grip socks always will help that. Um, and you can also make your own grip socks. You don't have to buy the expensive ones. If, I mean, honestly, you can get cheaper ones, but I don't know about durability, but you can make your own grip socks as well. And maybe I'll do a video on that because I mean, some of us don't play very serious, like competitively in a high level. So we just want something that's just going to work. So maybe I'll make a video on that. It probably won't get views, but hey, it's worked for me. They work for me. Um, so I will show you guys probably how to, how to do that. I'll make a video on that. Uh, but yeah, so this is my video today on my favorite boots for the Euro 2024. What team are you rooting for? Are you watching Copa America instead? which I will be watching both. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.